hey there so you also want more personal power or just to stop feeling so helpless and lost if yes but still you are not sure from where to start so let me help you in this first let us understand what personal power is personal power is not about controlling others this is social power personal power is instead about being totally detached from others and their opinions and instead attached to your own inner capabilities social psychologist amy cuddy describes it as freedom from the dominance of others it is about access to and control of limitless inner resources whereas social power means you seek power over others personal power means you seek to control yourself so now my question to you is do you really need to feel powerful why does one need to bother with personal power though it is really that necessary well it certainly comes with benefits like trusting ourselves more and therefore feeling safer to trust others stronger sense of self and ability to be optimistic resilience in the face of challenge able to take advantage of opportunities a feeling of satisfaction that we are being our boldest self and a self of purpose well a study on power led by social psychologist adam galinsky also suggests that personal power frees a person to listen to others without abandoning a personal vision whereas personal power also increases creativity and makes it easier to ignore bad advices even if it comes from a very important person so how can you gain your personal power and the very first step is recognize and nurture your innate gifts it is easy to write off the things we do easily and well as unimportant and instead become obsessed with big challenges we want to be a famous musician a social media influencer the best in our class then feel a failure that doesn't happen we do not rate our ability to read quickly listen well or make others laugh whatever it is that comes natural or we can even unconsciously be sabotaging our success by refusing to let ourselves succeed by things we find easy instead always focusing on things that are hard you know growing our innate gift raises our self esteem and circle of influence and it helps us realize how resourceful we are and lead to opportunities we didn't expect second step is recognize your achievements feeling powerful is often a mindset arising from negative self talks and an over focus on what is not happening and what we haven't done reframing our perspectives and notice what you actually have done can surely help you see that you are already a powerful person aim to record five achievements a day no matter how small or how big they are seems to one day when you start feel powerless you can flip back and see that this is a cognitive distortion over a fact step number 3 is one word boundaries to be powerful we must keep enough energy for ourselves to take care of ourselves if we have poor boundaries it means that we do not do this we say yes when we want to say no let others do things that leaves us feeling upset and used and end up exhausted and feeling very low that is why it is equally important to set boundaries and if you wanted to say no to anything just say no instead of saying yes step number 4 is get out of victim mode part of having no boundaries is playing the victim we do not have to take responsibilities for the fact that many of our upsetting experiences are the things we chose to allow into our lives or even invited in but we cannot be a victim and also powerful the moment you accept some responsibilities for issues you have with other people is the moment you realize the power you have had 
all along to make better choices. Step number five is get to the root of a need for approval. If we grew up having to seek approval and be pleasing to get our need meets, then this can be a difficult habit to be break. But it is a great drain of energy and takes us further and further away from our own sense of self. To be powerful, we need to know who we are. And to hear our needs and desires, we need to stop spending all our time and energy trying to be what others are desiring from us. Instead, we are acting in our own selves. Now, step number six is watch out for toxic relationships. An addiction to unhealthy relationships can completely deplete us and even leave us constantly ill. If we are constantly letting someone else belittle us or hurt us, then we will always feel knocked down and helpless instead of powerful. We get stuck in an endless cycle of reaffirming our negative beliefs that we are not worthy of. Step number seven is learn about and create real connections. When we feel fully supported, it is easier to feel powerful. Yes, this is true. Even if we fall, someone will catch us and encourage us to get back up. Of course, we all need to find those people who get us, who respect us and are a safe place for us to be our authentic selves and who understand what drives us. Step number eight is commit to your values. Your personal values are the things that matter to you when all else falls away. It is easy to get caught up in the values of our family, our partners and friends, which can lead to continuously feeling a bit lost and fatigued. When we face up to what actually makes us feel alive, Whatever that is, freedom from a 9 to 5 job or even structure, if we come from a creative family, we can feel a great release of energy. We can also then find our support tribe, the people we feel at home with because we share their values with us. And that is important. Number 9 is Learn self-compassion. Making mistakes is not a problem. It is better to take incorrect actions than take no action at all. The problem is when we make mistakes, then beat ourselves up and judge ourselves, stopping ourselves in our tracks just as we are starting to be powerful and shunned. How could you speak to yourself the same way you would to a good friend? Now, this is the last step, step number 10, that is be present. It can be a misguided to think personal power comes from doing more. Instead, it can come from clearing out distractions and focusing our minds so that we can stop missing the moments to use our inner resources. Mindfulness is a practice that helps us to be grounded in the present moment. What it means, it means that we do not overlook opportunities when it passes by and it is free and easy to be learned. So just try it once. And here I have one bonus tip for you and that is know when to speak for your support. You cannot turn off your negative thoughts and that is true. Whenever you feel low self-esteem, you will never feel more powerful or simply you cannot seem to set boundaries no matter how hard you try. Sometimes our old patterns come from a difficult childhood and the way we learn to behave and think in order to survive. They are deep rooted and hard to untangle alone. And yes, this is the time when you need to search out for some support in the form of a counselor or a psychotherapist. And this is your first courageous step for being a powerful person. So I'm sure all these 10 steps what I told you earlier will surely help you with the bonus step which is surely very helpful for everyone to be more powerful and to feel more conscious. So this is it for this video. We'll see you soon with some more videos like this. This is Devya from Technology Academy. We'll see you soon. Till then, goodbye. Take care.